Hey friends, and welcome to day nine of our watercolor advent calendar series. My name's Emma Lafave, and today we're gonna be painting a simple pine cone and berries. Don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video all month long. All right, let's jump in. Okay friends and welcome back to our next holiday video. Today we're going to be painting a very simple pine cone and pine with berries. So I have my Arches cold press watercolor paper, my Winsor Newton professional watercolors, my small round brushes a size 6 and a size 2, and then water paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our medium size 6 brush and we're just going to grab some burnt umber like so. So a kind of like a light wash of burnt umber. You want a lighter brown for this. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn your brush upside down so the point is facing down and you're going to just make these little kind of marks with the tip of your brush so it's almost like an upside down teardrop. So you're going to start with one at the top and then two right underneath and it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And then you're just going to slowly move downward until you get this kind of rounded triangular shape or cone shape. And we're leaving white space in between. This is a very loose pine cone. Okay, I'm just slowly adding more. And you don't need it to be symmetrical, so you don't need to go like one, and then there's two, and then there's three, and then there's four, and then five. Like you don't need to keep track completely. Um, one tip is the ones that are on the side, having them have them kind of on an angle. The ones that are right going down the middle are right side up, kind of straight, if that makes sense. So see how I'm turning my brush? So it's kind of going like this. And it gives it the illusion that it's a curved object by the way that they're facing. Okay, and you don't even have to necessarily do just like the tip. You can just kind of scribble <laughs> almost with your brush and then as we get closer to the bottom I'm just going to kind of do these like longer flatter lines like that okay and there's our pine cone shape then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a darker brown if you want to mix your burnt umber with uh, black you could do that I have sepia which is a nice dark brown and I'm just going to tap the base of those strokes so we get some darkness at the base of them Okay, and they're going to bleed because it's still wet. So it just gives it a little bit of a shadow. But you still maintain that white space, okay? Like so. And there's our pine cone, very simple. Now I'm going to grab my smaller brush and my burnt umber. And I'm just going to do a stem. Like so. Maybe I'll do another stem kind of coming down like this. And then one kind of coming out behind. These two stems are going to be berries and then this one is going to be like a pine, not leaf, whatever they're called, <laughs> pine needles. <laughs> wow, I'm really good at speaking today. All right, maybe a little couple extra stems. So let's do, let's do the berries first. So I'm going to grab my red. Again, we've done this, I think, what, two times now? And you can just do the same kind of technique where you're doing some really dark saturated berries like this. Okay, and then you wash off your brush and you just touch, slightly touch those darker berries so you get some lighter values of some. Just gives a bit of a nice contrast even though those are not that dark. <laughs> it's fine. I do some up here. And it doesn't have to be a lot of them, however many you like. Like so. I'm going to grab a little bit of darker red here. Just make some of these a bit darker red. Making some of them just a little bit slightly darker. Like that. And then you're going to grab your green. I'm going to start off with a sap green, this medium kind of green. 
And I'm just going to do these long pine needles coming off of this stem. I'm going to try to avoid the berries. I don't really want them to bleed into the red all that much. If it happens, it happens. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Like so. Maybe we could even do like another pine needle spread going down that way. Then I'm going to grab some darker green and just get some darker green in there too for a bit of contrast. And then if you want to grab your brown again, just to kind of connect some of those berries a bit better to a stem, you can. Like that. I feel like those berries need one more, like right here. There we go. And then once your pine cone is fully dry, you can just take a little bit more burnt umber and just go over some of the bases of those little strokes and just kind of darken them just a bit. And because it's dry, it'll be a bit more sharp. So it looks, there's a bit more depth to it. Again, maintaining some of that white space still. I'm just kind of doing these really rough shapes so it's still loose. But just to give it a little bit of shadow, like so. Or if you wanted to add any more brown to some of the main stem there, you could. Whatever feels right to you. And there we go. There is your pine cone and berries. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again for tomorrow's advent calendar video. Have a great day guys. Bye.